just a couple of with this. Um, you will not have to complete the Skittles, but I'm going to show you how to create formulas fairly quick. If you look at this spreadsheet here, you can see that there are 19 names on here, and we're going to figure out totals for each one. In the past, what we have done is we've clicked in a cell, we created our, our formula by clicking on the equal, we chose sum, and then we choose the range. This is what we've done in the past, um, and we've come up with the answer like that. Now, it'd be a little annoying to have to go through all 19 and continue to do that. So what we're gonna do is something that's called a fill of the column. So in reality, this formula here that I just put in here is taking five cells to the left plus the fourth cell to the left plus three cells to the left plus the second cell to the left plus the first cell to the left. If you look at Kaylee's name, you're gonna do the same thing. Five cells to the left, four cells to the left, three, two, one, and so forth. And so anytime you're gonna do something in Word or Excel and you do it over and over and over and over again, it's better to copy and paste. We're not gonna quite copy and paste, but by using the fill method, this will allow us to copy the formulas down. Okay, so first of all, in order to use that, you have to have the correct formula. So in cell H3, we have the formula sum of the range C3 through G3, and that's what we want. Okay, so we're gonna click on that cell, just type, just touch that cell, and you will get this pop-up on the top you will see that there's a word fill. So I'm gonna choose fill. And now you'll notice that these handles that are on here, they used to be circles, green circles, now they're green squares. I'm gonna grab the lower right hand green square and I'm gonna drag down through where I want my formula copied. And you will notice that it is copied down there. So when I click on cell H4, it should be C4 through G4. When I click on the next one, it is C5 through G5. And so it did copy and adjust the rows accordingly. So that works pretty slick. We're gonna go down here now, and we're gonna figure out our totals. So our totals here, we are gonna add up all of the grape Skittles for each person. So again, we'll use the function sum, and it's gonna be the range C3 through C21. We'll accept that formula. It is correct. I can click. Remember, we're going to select, make the active cell the one that has the formula in. I'm going to hit the word fill, and I can drag across. And now it will total up each column, and you can see the, the formulas are correct. We can do that also in cell C29. We're figuring out the average. What, are the, what is the average number of grape Skittles that each person got? So I'm gonna use my formula, do average, and it's gonna be the average of column C, which is C3 through C21. I'm gonna click on that, use my fill, and fill across so that that formula is copied and pasted all the way across. And you can see right now that makes it a lot easier. If we did do it the fill way, you would still be creating formulas over here.